Hello friends, in today's video I'll be showing you how I take graphic tees and flannel shirts and turn them into one-of-a-kind masterpieces. So stay tuned and watch the video. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is get yourself a couple of graphic t-shirts and a couple of flannel shirts. I did purchase mine at the thrift store. And what I'm going to do is right where the sleeve starts on the graphic tees is I'm going to cut from the bottom all the way to the top. So basically cutting the sleeve off and then going all the way down straight. And I'm gonna do this on both sides. As you can see, I already did. So now you just have this open thing and I'm gonna turn it inside out. Next, I'm going to take a flannel shirt and I'm going to be doing the same thing, except I'm going to be leaving at least an inch to two inches um, to the side of to the side of the sleeve. So where the sleeve starts on the shirt, I'm going to be leaving at least an inch to two inches. You can leave as much as you want, but I like to leave at least an inch and a half. So now you just are cutting the sleeves off and that's what we're gonna use. So now that I have both sleeves off, I'm gonna save the in, inside of the part of the shirt for another project. And I did dip this um, black flannel in bleach to make that effect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the sleeves inside out. And then with the two seams, the, ins, the inside out, you're gonna do it inside out. And you're, so now you're gonna um, pin it so that you're pinning the two right sides in. So if you can understand what I'm saying. So even though you're looking at the shirts and they're inside out, when you're pinning them, you're actually pinning the right sides together. So you're gonna start at the top seam where this top seam goes over the shoulder of both the t-shirt, the graphic tee, and the flannel. And you're gonna start at that top and you're just gonna continue to pin all the way down with the two right sides together. And you wanna put the pin at least a half of an inch from the edge because we are going to sew this and you in case you can't get your pin out quick enough you don't want your machine to go over the pin you want to be able to pull them out as you're sewing so now I just have my sewing machine set up I'm putting I'm starting at where the two seams go together on the top of the shoulder and I'm just going to sew going down, pulling out the safety pins. Well, they're not safety pins, I'm sorry. I don't know what they're called, but I like to use the, the uh, straight pins with the little balls at the end because they're easier to pick up and grab. And you can get them at Joann's. That's where I got mine. So you're just gonna continue to sew down, pulling out the pins as you go going all the way from the top shoulder all the way down to the bottom. So this is only going to do either the, whether it's the front or the back, it's only going to be doing one half of the shirt right now. And it's so easy. I have no sewing skills whatsoever. This is a very cheap machine and it took me a long time to learn how to even set it up and thread it but once you know how to do that you just start sewing and it's very very easy so you don't need sewing skills um, to learn how to do this and you can get this machine um, for about 50 bucks so i'm just going to keep going down pulling out the pins as i go until I'm all the way totally down 
to the bottom. And don't be afraid to do it. It's, I was very intimidated at first and I said, you know what? You just got to get in there and you just got to do it. And once you do it, you're like, what was I so afraid of? Like, it's crazy. So we're just going to keep sewing until we get to the bottom, like I said. And then once I hit the bottom, there's a reverse button on all sewing machines. So once you get to the bottom, you're just going to hit reverse and go backwards, then go forwards, then go backwards, then go forwards. You want to really make the end of that, um, you know, sewing run so that it's not going to unravel and come out when you wash your shirt, when you wash it and dry it. So as you see right here, I'm coming to the end. Now I put it in reverse and do it the opposite way and then back forward and then back in reverse. side one done so you can see how it looks attached to the t-shirt I will put it on a mannequin after it's all done and show you the final product but even sitting here doing this, my ribs are hurting because I have I, I still have uh, broken ribs. They're not totally healed yet. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break and then do side number two and show you how it looks at the end. One of a kind, reworked flannels and graphic tees. Absolutely obsessed with them. All right, guys. So my shirt is done. That's it on the mannequin. Super cool. A good day starts with coffee plus a golden retriever. So now the size of this is going to be like an uh, extra large. It's very oversized because the shirt was an extra large and then the flannel was an extra large. So when you kind of put them two together, you get some more movement in there. So actually, it could fit up to a 2X. So it's very oversized. Anybody from a large, an extra large, a 2X can wear this. It could be paired with some jeans or some black leggings and boots. Perfect for the, um, what do you call it? The cool weather coming up, I think it's absolutely adorable, one of a kind. I'll flip it around and show you the back. So this is the back. The back is just plain. Sorry about the lighting in here. And then you have just how cool it looks from the back with that bleach dipped flannel attached. And then if you look in the front, let me swing this around. It's hard to do this. It's kind of like a high-low going on here in the front where you can see both of the sides uh, of the flannel coming down. So the t-shirt is even in the back, but in the front, it's kind of like a high-low. And then you have the nice scalloped little um, slit on the side, on both sides. I think it's super cute. I'll be putting this in my Depop shop and on my Etsy page. So if anybody's interested, I'll put the links in the description box below where you can go and purchase it. And like I said, one of a kind came out beautiful. And I'm going to put another one on the mannequin that I made. And I'm going to show you that one as well. Hey guys, so this one I am obsessed with. It is perfect for Halloween coming up. It's, um, I forget what they call her, but she's kind of like, uh, I forget what they call it. I got, I got to think about it. I'll put it in the, in the description box below, 
but that was the black t-shirt and then this it's not flannel material it's more like a rayon but it's got like the bell sleeves that come um you know with the elastic around it the bottom super cute it does have the scalloped sides and yeah perfect for halloween trying to figure out where my finger is on this camera because it's not on a tripod but I absolutely love this the colors match perfectly with the colors that are in the image the graphic image and then you could see it from the side that's it from the side and then the back is just plain black this fits um, a small to a medium I'll have the measurements pit to pit and shoulder to bottom on both of these. I'll have the measurements, like I said, in my Etsy page and on Depop. So if you're interested in either of these, head over to the shop and you can purchase them. And I'll be making more. So it's something that I can do instead of just sitting around with my broken ribs you know, that I could just sit and do. And I absolutely love it. I think they come out super cool, one of a kind. And yeah, you'll never get another shirt like this. You'll be the only one wearing it. So I have more to do. So stay tuned in the coming weeks for more that I'll be posting. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, listen, you can, I suggest you do, if you want to make these, to sew it with a machine. My mother bought me that machine, I think, from HSN. It's like a little tiny starter one. I think it was $50. So you don't have to go out and buy like a $400 sewing machine to do this. It's like a very cheap little... They even sell them at Joann's craft store, like $50, $60. I don't suggest hand stitching it because you want it to get a really good stitch so it stays together in the wash. But I didn't even know how to use the machine at all. I did not even know how to thread the needle on the machine. And then I learned, and look, I, and I, th these two shirts, uh, this was my first project. And then I decided to make a video and show you how I do it. So it's just cutting the, sh the, the whole side, starting from the top of the t-shirt, cutting it all the way down so that it's open on the side, and then cutting the from where the shoulder is on the flannel you want to go over at least two two and a half inches and then right where the seams meet on both shirts on the top shoulder is where you're going to start pinning it and sewing them together and then you sew it on both sides going down you guys that's how simple it is it's so easy i'm also going to be taking two different uh bleach dipped flannels of different colors and cutting them right in half and then sewing them together to make like a really cool different look on that. So I have a couple of more things that I have in, in store. But I hope you like this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Um, I guess I'll have to find a big tripod uh, if I'm going to be making more of these to film it. Because sorry about the shaky video. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, if you watch my channel and uh, are looking for another food video... I will be posting another recipe on Friday. So I'm actually going to be making a key lime pie from scratch. I absolutely love key lime pie with the, um, with the top. What do you call that? The meringue topping. So that's what I'm going to make for Friday. I am dying for key lime pie, uh, pie and I'll be making that on Friday. So if you're interested in that, hit that notification bell. If you like these shirts, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscription button. I appreciate it. All right, guys, I'll see you all Friday in my next video. And let me get back to work. Bye.